We approached Yellowstone National Park in northwestern Wyoming via the Chief Joseph Scenic Highway. This road ascends the mountains east of the Greater Yellowstone Basin and then plummets 2,100 feet via a series of huge switchbacks into the beautiful valley below. Yellowstone is the one that started it all as the nation's first national park. The park is believed to lie on top of one of Earth's few dozen hotspots where light molten mantle rock rises toward the surface. If Yellowstone disappoints some folks, it is probably because the park is too big to see in one day or from your car. The Lamar River Valley is best known for the variety of wildlife that wanders here. We drove through it, gazing at the huge herds of bison and antelope that live in the area. Only in Yellowstone will you ever find bison grazing along the river next to a large, steaming, hot spring. Fort Mammoth dates from soon after the park's inception, when Congress assigned the Army to take care of the park. The Army built a lovely fort and managed the park for years until the Park Service was created. Nice duty, eh? At Mammoth Springs, next to the fort, heat, water, limestone, and rock fracture combine to create terraces. Travertine is deposited as white rock. However, the microorganisms and living bacteria create beautiful shades of oranges, pinks, yellows, greens, and browns. Most famously, Yellowstone contains some 10,000 thermal features, over 500 of which are geysers. In fact, Yellowstone contains the majority of the world's geysers. The four basic types of thermal features present in the park are geysers, hot springs, fumaroles, and mud pots. You must walk to see the geothermal features in Norris and Madison geyser basins. Most of that walking is on boardwalks to keep people from breaking through the often fragile crust and being boiled alive in the hot water below. Color and shape are what these areas are all about. Old Faithful herself is a spectacular sight. She started her act about 10 minutes early, just within her current variability. In spite of the stories we'd heard, her performance was up to par and we very much enjoyed the show. As we drove through Craig Pass, which crosses the Continental Divide, more than an inch of white hailstones covered the road, turning the grass and woods snow white. The walks and views in the canyon cut by the Yellowstone River were spectacular. Uncle Tom's Trail consists of 380 open steel stairs that cling to sheer rock faces on the canyon wall. We took the walk to Artist's Point. They said we'd understand the reason for the name when we got there, and indeed we did.